Moments in Jamaica's history from the RG archives. Let's take a journey to October 1983. Prime Minister Edward Siaga unveiled a monument of Sam Sharp in Montego Bay. The monument consists of five statues portraying the national hero addressing his followers. U.S. Vice President George Bush and his wife Barbara Bush were also in attendance at the unveiling. Also in October, in 1975, Prime Minister Michael Manley announced two new national heroes for Jamaica, Sam Sharp and Nanny of the Maroons. On October 20th, that same year, a colorful ceremony was held at the National Stadium in remembrance of the nation's six heroes and heroine. Also in the RG archives, a speech to the nation from Norman Manley in which he explains his decision to leave the Federation. But my task in coming to a decision was a difficult but an obvious one. I had to decide since I am only one person and was faced with a choice between two jobs. I had to decide where I thought I could most helpfully and effectively serve. Months after the referendum, the JLP won the elections in 1962. Premier Alexander Bustamante spoke on Radio Jamaica the night before the win. As a result of all the principles we have stood for in the past, we can safely look forward to becoming an example of stability in a sea of troubles. But let me advise the nation that the time ahead are not easy ones. It would take time to set out for a house in order. For more information on the RG archives, email rgarchives at rgarlinagroup.com or call 876-733-2404 or 876-932-2404.